The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of adequate ventilation in preventing the spread of infection. In closed spaces, ventilation at a minimum of two air changes per hour, which is the inflow of double the amount of outside air as the room volume, is recommended to reduce the risk of infection. However, it is difficult to visualize the concentration of viral particles in the air to check the amount of ventilation required. Understanding the dynamics of the airflow circulating indoor space is challenging. Recently, Professor Hiyama Kyosuke from the School of Science and Technology at the Meiji University in Japan wrote an article discussing the possible solutions to address this issue. He stresses that to ensure high ventilation efficiency, designers must incorporate appropriate elements early in the design stage of a building by visualizing and optimizing its airflow. How can one visualize airflow in a building? The answer lies with simulation technology, which can mimic the airflow of a building using computational fluid dynamics. It can be applied to existing buildings as well as those to be constructed in the future. In fact, constructing a building model through an entire building's design, construction, and operation stages in a virtual space, a so-called digital twin, will soon be possible via an advanced information technology known as building information modeling. The indoor environment, including the airflow, can be simulated in the virtual building model. Through this technology, designers will acquire information on the ventilation efficiency even in the stage of building design and how it varies depending on the placement of windows, doors, and mechanical ventilation systems. What's more, they will be able to visualize invisible values such as comfort, sanitation, and security in residential and office spaces. By enabling such progress, simulation technologies can truly revolutionize living spaces in the future and ensure adequate ventilation and safety for residents.